Inquiring of the Lord, that's an Old Testament phrase. To inquire of the Lord means to ask God a question and get an answer. And God has, in his love and compassion and mercy, committed himself, obligated himself, if you will, to answer us if we ask. Actually, the word inquire in the Old Testament can be translated require. If I inquire of the Lord, then God is required to answer me. Not because I order him around, but because he's promised to do so and he cannot lie. We've been giving you some practical steps of how to seek the Lord or how to, how to inquire the Lord. First of all, we said develop your faith in this truth for yourself. You know, a lot of people think that God will listen to the preacher or God will listen to the evangelist or God will listen to the great old saint that you know who you think is living a great life, and hopefully they are, but... God doesn't just listen to people who are in full-time ministry. He doesn't just answer people who've been saved for 45 years. He's willing to communicate with any of his children who will spend the time that's necessary and come scripturally and inquire of the Lord. So it's important to build your faith. Look at the scriptures that deal with that subject and make them a part of your thinking and a part of your confession so that you, when you go to the Lord, will expect the answer by faith. We said last time, too, a practical step is to make time to wait on God. You know, we don't need to try to dictate the schedule to God. We don't want to put God on a deadline. That's not going to work. You know, we're not the sovereign God. He is. And so, therefore, if I seek God, I just have to be ready to be in that mode as long as it may take. And remember this, delay is not denial. There are reasons sometimes why answers are delayed. Now, I'm not talking about you not receiving healing when you ask for it or you not receiving your needs met. We're not talking about that. We're talking about seeking an answer, asking a question, getting an answer. So there are things that maybe we don't need to know today, but maybe we will need to know next week or next month. And also, we can't get nosy here and try to intrude into other people's business where we don't belong there. We have to be very sensitive to know where our boundaries are. But remember that delay is not denial. God sees the future perfectly. And so he knows how to give us the information we need today to prepare us for our tomorrows. And it's also important to note, and this is a whole different subject that we won't get into in much detail, but there are some things that need to be prayed out. Or the old timers would say praying through. We need to pray until we're finished with certain things. And many times that will involve what the Bible calls praying in the spirit or praying in other tongues. And there are things that need to be prayed out in the spirit as well as praying out in our known language. And uh, sometimes we're waiting on uh, other people to get into place. We're waiting on situations to fall into order so that God can do what he wants to do. And as we stay in a, in a mode of seeking God about various issues and we continue to, to pray in the spirit over them and we water those things with the word in our confession, then we, we'll eventually see this thing come together. So don't, don't uh, limit God on the time aspect. Just know that if you will seek God, if it was a legitimate inquiry, he will uh, answer you. When we get to the end of our understanding, many times, you know, we can pray out what we know. We quote the scriptures or we read them before the Lord and we make our confessions of faith and we make our petition. We ask him. Then many times we just need to switch over, if I can use that terminology, and begin to pray out of our spirit and let that unlimited stream of supernatural language, communication in tongues, reach out and pray this thing through. We can go beyond our own natural abilities, beyond our own natural knowledge when we pray this way.